The Inspiration Center's Family Fun Day began as early as 8.30 this morning with parents and children from across the country converging at its headquarters in Belize City for a full day of activities, including watermelon eating contests for adults, water games and sports. Special invited guests this time around were two children who recently represented Belize in Russia as a youth journalist and a youth football ambassador. There's a water station to the back of me and there's a sports center. We have two sports centers, one over there, football and basketball, and there's another sports center right over there in front of us, I mean behind us. Um, I think I think it's, it's possible. It, it was important for me to be here today as an inspiration to the kids. It's about you know making the special needs children happy, give them things to do, playing. They have the little water piece right over there. And let them enjoy themselves. There's a sports center where they learn all different kind of things. You just show them about the skills of football. Talk to us about what you're teaching them. Yes, sir. I'm just teaching them how to pass the ball how to dribble the ball the correct way and how to shoot the ball the correct way. It's the fifth year that the Fun Day has been organized and this year it is being held under the theme Parents Participating, Children Engaging, Empowering Families. Executive Director Joyce Lopez says that the event is part of the Inspiration Center's Inclusive Development Framework. This is all a part of inclusive development. Social interaction is good for everybody, it's healthy and it's enjoyable. So that is why um, every year we set aside a day for our children to come out and have fun with us. Does it break that stigma that people have about persons that seek uh, maybe these type of services that the Inspiration Center offers? Yes, it does because um, we invite our clients and we allow them to bring a sibling and we invite other children as well. So it's inclusive, everybody can interact with each other. Dwayne Moody for News 5.